that everybody's going to get eight. How can we change the horse so that the eight drives us again? It's stupidly simple. I don't know your line here. Can you come around circle? We're just kind of halfway. You gotta have four strides before you get here, right? In order for it to work. So see if we can do it. You may need a half halt. When you lay it, for sure, with leg, you may need it halfway down, you may need it every stride after that to keep the horse from. seven earlier. You didn't see it until about your fourth or fifth drive. It's too late to make that big of a change. Alright, when I say soften, specifically the horse is waiting. So you need to give up the weight, let go, and let the fence hold it. If the fence is holding it too much, then you have to move the body, swing and close your leg. But first you drop the hand. Right? Jump still holding it. Then you decide I'm going to move my body to add more clothes. Okay? Sorry. Sorry. It's almost perfect. But if you're that accessible, one step by the way of perfect is it just doesn't work. Look at your gut and allow more with your hands. Lighter contact. Lighter contact. Good. Soft. Soften again. Go with it. There you go. So there again, after the first trip, you have more information, so now you can make it work really well. Okay, back to the beginning. All right, now what I want to do, we get a little help here. We'll go up with that, up the rail up in that case. The back of that was kind of Yeah. All right. Then we're going to do a bend in line through gate. All right. We're going to walk the distance. Is this for real or not? Here? As if you guys are walking, I'll walk it for you. And then I want to think about what the distance is like that. Yeah. Yeah. And how many tries we're going to determine we're going to do it. I think it's high up. But it looks okay. Then you're going to go all the way to the end. Direction afterwards is really important. I want you to think about it. after this jump that you're going to basically ask for a halt. You're going to abort the aid and allow the horse to keep the camera. So it's kind of like you call it a half halt or using a full aid and halt for half the time. 
the word grace out into the scanner. You may have to try and take the right lead, or if I change it to the viewer, so they don't go well and don't do it at all. And then nice square turns there. You're going to jump from blue and gray. Oh, and then the bend the line to the gray light. So they mark this distance first. So each step is three foot. Four steps make 12 foot stride. So when I walk, of course, I can either walk the entire distance and multiply it by three by the number of paces I take, or I can do it a different way. I can go from my six feet here, okay? And then I can just go one, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, for the number of strides I want to okay? So let's go here. One, two, three, four, that's one, two, that's two, that's three, four, that's five, and then take off, right? So it walks a nice five, right? Well, this walks probably a nice six, but we've been doing it in seven and eight, right? So we're indoors, so instead of this riding in five, we're going to ride in six, okay? From there to there in six, you guys are getting really good at the adjustability. So the bending lines, there's two ways to add that effect or leave it out, wherever it is, I don't know. And one is by changing the, the line between the two jumps to make, give you more room or less room. And the other is to allow the person to get a bigger step or to work into the first step. Okay? Now we have the second line. All we go over to the rail, not to the ground, all right? Yeah? Ever take off? Again, yeah, I can take a full six feet and we're indoor. You go one stride, two stride, three stride, but it's not until at least my third stride that I start to bend the line. Four stride, five stride, so I'm at five and plus, right? You look at the placement of the blue and gray. These are very much the same place. The red is closer to this jump than the blue and gray is to that jump. So instead of this being...
for the sake of the horse sort of blowing off, basically, right? Do it again. You never get a second chance to do it the first time. So I know you'll be better the second time. But what I'm looking for, with the amount of talent that you four riders have, I'm looking for you to get the first cut. What do I need in the first line to get six really easy strides? What do I have to do when I land off that first line to get the seven up? Start again. You got to decide, right? You could have gone on, on the one left, the one that you ended up on, right? And still make the six words easy enough. You have a very adjustable horse. Use it. Use volume zero to ten on your age. Now collect. Now give. Now get ready for your seven. What do I have to do? Sit. Use wide turn. Wide turn. Now from the corner, add another try. Now add. Add. Now give. Now get ready for your eight. Don't cut the turn. Straight. Super. Add. Add again. And give. Alright. So you can do it, right? But it takes a lot of planning and then it takes a lot of conviction to that one. Yeah. Very, very good. Ready to do it the first time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no pressure.